Hello friends, welcome back to the world of Lean Six Sigma. I am certified master black belt and I am your coach and mentor on Lean Six Sigma. I have created a video on basic lean tools and my viewers have been requesting me to create a video on basic Six Sigma tools. In this video, I will talk about one basic tool that should be used in each of the phase of a DMAC methodology. In the defined phase of DMAC methodology, the basic and the important tool is project charter. Project charter has six elements. Number one is business case, problem statement, goal statement, scope of the project, timelines, and the team members. It is important to define the business case of a problem. When team correctly identifies the right business case, the management also approves it and supports the project. Correct problem statement verified with data also helps management to provide their approval on the project. Business case and the problem statement is for management to approve the project. Next comes the goal statement. Goal statement is for the project team. Team should create a smart goal statement. Goal statement should start from to reduce or to improve kind of statements and it should have from and to statement as well. And also goal statement should be time bound. For example, to reduce the defect rate from 15% to 1% by March 2021 is a smart goal statement. Defining the scope of the project is also very important. Clearly define what is in scope of the project and what is out of scope of the project. Next in project charter is timelines. Roughly a Six Sigma project will take four to six months of time. It is also very important to define the team charter. Identifying the correct team is of utmost importance. Identify the sponsors, champions, subject matter experts, and the team members. Clearly define their roles and responsibilities. It is also very important. I will provide the link of my created video on project charter in the description box below. And that video is in detail so you can understand the project charter completely. Next is the measure phase. And in measure phase, the basic Six Sigma tool is fishbone diagram. With the help of this tool, team will be able to identify all root causes of the problem. Fishbone has six heads. Under them, all the root causes are classified. These six heads are people, mother nature, method, machine, measurement and material. The head of the fish is the effect or the problem on which the brainstorming is to be done. To help you understand fishbone in detail, I will provide the link of my video on fishbone in the description box below. Next phase is analyze phase and the basic tool that is used in the analyze phase is a Pareto chart. It is also known as 80-20 rule, which means 80% of the problems are due to 20% of the causes. So in this picture, Pareto chart of the errors indicate that 81.1% of the errors are due to two main causes, which are head of the shift and thread issues. Now the project team can focus on these two error types and can impact 81.1% of the problem. I have so many videos already on Pareto chart. So I will put the link of the two videos in which I have explained how to create a Pareto chart in Minitab and how to create that in Excel that I will put that in the description box below. The next phase is the improve phase in the DMAC methodology and the basic tool that is used here is 5Y analysis. This tool helps the project team to reach to a right root cause of the problem and then to identify the correct solution, so which is also very important. The diagram which is shown here represents a process of web application software development testing this has to create the functionality to upload or download a file on a particular website. The failure in that is they are not able to download the file. So the first why which is asked is why are you not able to download the file? And answer to that question is that it is the functionality failure. Why it is a functionality failure? While the file upload was happening at that time wrong or non-competent data is entered in the file. Why that happened? Because there is no check in the system before any upload is happening. And why there is no check? Because this functionality is missed during development. Why it is missed during development? Because the requirements were not clear during development. And then the solution to this root cause is very clear that clear requirements should be finalized before the project starts. Both the team managers should sign on the requirement documents. Like all other tools, I have a dedicated video on 5Y analysis as well. So I will attach the link in the description box below. 
and the next phase is control phase and the basic six sigma tool to look out is control plan in a control phase it is really important to control the improved state of the process so what is to be implemented by when it is to be implemented where it is to be implemented who and how in the control phase we need to control this implementation as well so we need to check at a definite frequency and by a supervisor or somebody senior in the organization should check whether this particular activity is happening or not for example in order to control the process which has improved on the accuracy levels a quality sample check is proposed so quality sample check of 5 cases per associate is to be done every week the result should be shared on a shared drive the quality resource is responsible to do the quality check frequency is weekly and how it is to be done is by creating a checklist and assessing all the cases on the basis of the checklist so this process needs to be controlled now so a quality manager has to check fortnightly the right sample size is being monitored and the accuracy of the team is going up or not this is the entire process with the help of which we will be able to control the improved state of the process so friends these are the five basic six sigma tools that i wanted to share with you i know there are so many tools in six sigma methodology or in dmac methodology that we are using but i wanted to share these basic five tools so friends if you use these tools in the sequence that i have already explained so basic six sigma projects at yellow belt level can be done with ease so friends i hope you would have liked this video so if you have liked this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i will see you in another important and informative video pretty soon till then take care bye i want to share my book with you which is continuous improvement the lean way i am first going to share the aesthetics of this book with you let's have a look at it the cover of this book has subtle colors and it is very pleasing to the eyes the print quality is excellent and it is very easy and convenient to read i have read so many books on quality some of them focus only on the tools and methodology and some of them focus only on the case study part however i have come across very few books on how to mentor quality projects so my attempt here is to get all these three aspect together in this book and make it a single point of reference for all quality practitioners who are seeking information on lean or quality projects i have divided this book into three sections the first section talks about lean tools and eight step lean methodology friends most of the quality practitioners think that lean is only about small incremental improvements however i beg to differ with all of them that is why i have created this eight step lean methodology to drive big initiatives and lean projects second section of this book talks about how to implement these tools and methodology in the form of case studies this book has four case studies which will help the reader to understand how to implement these lean tools and methodology in the industry situations friends there is a difference in doing a project and mentoring someone who is doing that project so i have accordingly curated this third section of the book which will provide a unique learning experience on how to mentor a project mentoring guide will explain what all tools and methods are to be used in all the phases of the eight step methodology it also talks about the do's and the don'ts of each of these stages all in all this book is a complete guide on implementing the lean tools and principles in any work area i wish you have rich experience in owning this book this book has been priced at a nominal rate of inr249 if some of you are not aware of my first book this is my first authored book eight steps to problem solving it is also available on amazon and flipkart thank you so much for giving your time have a great day bye bye